Goodness. That is dry. We're going to take care of that while we just wait for people to jump on. Hello, hello. Okay. I'm so glad. This is the real, real. Can't be going on live looking like that. Take care of that with our cuticle oil. And I just like to glob it on there. So hey everyone, it's Tiana from the Maniology team here with our weekly live every Tuesday at 1.30 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time. You can find us here on another uh, nail tutorial. Uh, I'm sorry, another nail stamping journey. Whether it's a tutorial technique or hack, we're here to discuss the details and we're so happy you could join. And um, if you're wondering why you're hearing my voice again and you're joining us for our second um, live stream, it is because my counterpart is on vacation. Dev is on vacation for the next two weeks. And so you lovely community get me and uh, I hope it's not a problem. So happy I could be here with you guys. And if any of you are out there um, enjoying our content, love nail art, know somebody who loves nail art, loves nail stamping, just want to share all of this content, please go ahead and do and subscribe. We love growing our community. And if you're wondering what I'm doing, why, why I'm moving my hands, it's because I came up on this live looking crusty and I just used some of our man maniology cuticle oil to take care of that. So now I look all happy, happy. The nails look happy, happy. So now I can spirit fingers and say hello. <laughs> so yes, subscribe, do all of that. Let's just jump in because we got a lot of things to cover today. And just know I am vicariously living through all of you. If you live in cold weather, I swear outside is way too blue. But, you know, that's Hawaii here. Our seasons really don't change. We just get wet and dry and humid and all this kind of stuff. So, yes, if you have cold weather, if you're in sweater weather, this live is for you. I'm living through you because I'm wishing that I could snowbird somewhere and go to somewhere that was cooler. Um, but that's what today today's live is going to be about. Five fall nail designs for instant sweater weather inspiration. And I have some really fun things. Again, they're really simple. Um, nothing is wrong with having an impactful design that does not take forever. So... That is kind of what I'm doing today. I also actually have a special treat, so I lied. It's not gonna be five, it's gonna be six designs because um, I got inspired to do something for like a PSL, a pumpkin spice latte. I had seen some nail art on TikTok, but it was with gel and I wanted to do it with polish. And I think I came out with a pretty good base and I wanted to share that all with you guys, so. Let's just dive right in. So I have my nail plates here. Okay, I'm gonna do this a little bit differently because I feel like the video wasn't very bright. How are all of you? And, you know, just something fun. Don't forget to answer our poll today. You are drinking a blank while watching Maniology Live. So far, I got 33% saying hot cocoa. I got 31% saying coffee latte. A boba, 5%. That's probably what I would be drinking because it's so darn hot here. And 34% now said whatever I can get my hands on. So I got my water here. It's whatever I can get my hands on. And that's, that's all good. So I got my plates. I think I got everything I need. Let me go ahead and bust out my... Oh, that didn't roll out as nicely as I wanted. My lotus mat. I get a napkin here. And I I'm definitely gonna need some cotton pads today. Ta-da! How are you guys doing this Tuesday? Are you guys feeling spoiled having two lives? <laughs> 
Okay, so I got my tips ready here. And okay, I'm gonna save like the more complicated stuff for last. But let's, you know, when I think of sweater weather, I think of like sweater cable knit kind of designs. But also I think of patterns like the pattern, you know, plaids and tweeds and any type of like a, those classic textures that really can go for all year round. But I feel like it's just, I don't know, just something about it just feels warm, I guess, you know, like it's perfect for cozying up and like nuzzling kind of thing. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And let's see, what do I want to kick it off with? I said I was going to do the complicated ones for last. So let's see, all the plates that I'm using today are already linked in the description. So you can go ahead and uh, take a look at those if you're interested. But sorry, I'm trying to think of my plan of attack here for today. I'm really feeling this red. I know I don't often paint red, but this is like really pretty. Maybe I might end up having red nails this season. Okay, yeah, why not? We're gonna go ahead and kick it off with uh, M267, okay, which is this gorgeous plaid uh, printed plate. A lot of really fun designs, but I'm only gonna do maybe like a few off of this plate because it can get really crazy. And basically I could do a whole nail design um, or several with just this plate alone. So let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and start with a simple stamp. I'm trying to think. I have this gorgeous green. This is Lily Pad for any of you who wanted to know. Um, I think I'm gonna do like a, let's try latte, latte and green. And I have some stampers. I'm gonna use my handy dandy double-ended because there's gonna be some small details. I'm gonna be using some snowflakes and stuff today. But I'm also using my monocle stamper. And the reason for the monocle stamper is for any of you who have had issues with getting straight lines onto the nail, which a lot of these designs have straight lines, um, using a bigger or a monocle stamper works best. Um, I can also do straight lines, I feel like, with this. However, I don't think that's the case for most people. Um, just because you see this, how domey it is, naturally this tends to um, warp straight lines just because of how curved the top is, where if you look at the monocle stamper, it is flatter, so it's easier to get the straight lines and to also transfer it to the nail nicely instead of it getting all warped. But I, I personally say that I can get this um, done because I have a firmer head in here and this is like my go-to. If anybody takes the stamper off my desk, I am not a happy camper. <laughs> so this is my go-to stamper. And I've probably had this stamper head for eons i've had this for a long long time which just goes to show that um if you take care of your stamper heads you can really have the the stamper heads last for five plus years however if you do like treat your stamper heads not very nicely they can just disintegrate which i have also heard too but that's not the case with everybody Okay. I love how you guys always get into your conversations and stuff like that. And I know that this is basically a time of socializing and, you know, visiting and everything. So I'm so happy that we have this community. If you're joining us for the first time, that's pretty much what you can expect here for our Maniology live stream. Okay. So I'm going to go in with this pattern here. Going in with Latte, which is this gorgeous, gorgeous, uh, like a dark khaki. Going 
decor just pick up. Let's get that green. Remember what I had said about these stragglies? Make sure they lay flat. And if you're doing this, you know, on your natural nail, you would just go ahead and lightly melt that off with maybe some acetone. But that is design number one. Perfect for the season. Love the color combo. But you see how the monocle stamper really helps to lay down really nice straight lines easily. Just gotta line up the monocle again. And for some of you, if you're purchasing the new monocle stamper, it does also have a open back. You see how my nail is going through? So it allows you to see the back a lot easier. I took the cap out ahead of time. Okay. So let's see. I think the next one I want to do. Oh, actually, I need to clean this plate. <laughs> totally didn't do that before the live. How funny. I thought I cut all the plates. So what's better than to have a quintessential kind of sweater pattern, which is what I'm going to do here. I'm going to take this design. I'm going to stamp that. So let's see. And over here I laid down, this is Luna, which is a light gray color. Oh, Mystic Kitten. I'm cuddled up on the couch in my PJs with a sleeping kitty on my lap. That sounds perfect. How many of you go on to whatever social media of your choice? Mine is TikTok. I am a clown for TikTok. <laughs> um, no joke. Okay, pick up. And um, I, you know, we're we're into animals, right? We get like on animal talk and stuff. And look at that. Simple, simple sweater nails. Definitely could go out just going like that. Perfect, perfect. I've been on Otter Talk. Okay. They are just the cutest. So after, I never heard otters make noise before. And now I am convinced. Okay. I have... I think seals are water dogs and otters are water kittens. Otters sound just like cats, okay? Like whatever, it, it's amazing. So I'm in love with both, but lately I've been on the sea otters and they're just too cute. And they stick their, their little paws through the little holes and stuff like that to like engage with their... Um, what is it? The the people, who, the caretakers and seeing them out in the ocean. Um, so my husband has family out in Morro Bay, California. If you're not aware of where this place is before I met him, I had no clue. Um, and they have these the sea otters just like laying out in the bay. It's so, so cute. Let's see. Monica said, especially pities. <gasps> Okay, so I actually have a side-by-side -side picture of my dog who has now been gone for a very long time. Um, she was black. And f funny, I've actually heard her color called seal, which is like, it's a extremely, extremely dark black brown. And I put a seal picture I have a side by side. One day I'll have to show you guys because it is the cutest picture. But yes, I agree. She was a pity and she looked just like a seal. It was the cutest thing. But yeah, so that's that's the kind of animals I've been on.
but they're just so cute and i used to see them sorry going back to what i was talking about with the moro bay i used to see like all of these otters just like laying on their back just like chilling or grabbing the clams and i hear them cracking and they're just like cleaning themselves around like the algae or the the kelp beds and stuff so adorable so cute Mine is white. She looks like a seal pup or a South Pole seal. That is so cute. I'm a dweeb for our animals, seriously. So I'll get them any way I can. Okay. So next, let's move on. Because I'm sure you guys are like, uh, T, can we, can we stop talking? Let's move on. So now I'm going to be using um, M336 and I am going to kind of piece together a, a look um, using some colors and kind of being creative on my canvas here. So this I have Latte as the base. And let's go in. I'm going to do Coconut. can't wait till I have an animal again and I will one day okay let's see I feel like I'm talking too much and this small little piece is probably not going to transfer but let's see So there's like my hash marks. So I went in with something a little bit thicker. And now, let's see, I'm gonna go in with another color. Let's do red. So I'm going in with Fireside. That was in a very nice pickup, and I think that's because some of the polish from my previous pickup got in there. So let me clean that out. I wish you could play music in the background for the times where I'm like really silent and I can't say much because I'm focusing <laughs> would be nice, but. Okay, so let's see, I'm gonna try and line this up and do a center right over. Like that, so I just overlapped those two lines. And now I'm going to go back in and I want to do green. So I guess I'm kind of making my own plaid pattern. That's why I like these lines, these detailed lines in here you can get creative. So there, that's what I have so far. I feel like I need a, like a straight line. Yeah? What do you guys think? Maybe black? Now I'm gonna come in with this other plate. This is M337 and there are some straight lines over here. Some thinner straight lines. So 
let's see. Perfect. Oh, shoot. Okay, so I have one very thin line. Go right over here. I feel like I need one more line going across. Maybe I'll go in with the... Let's try red. Coming back in with this plate. Okay, let me isolate this. Excuse me. My whole house has been coming off of a cold. So, yay for us, right? How would it look if I do a double? What do you guys think? Should I do double lines? Shoot. I was like, don't talk too much, T. Yeah. Let's see. At this point, let me just see if I can even get this to transfer. Okay. You know what? I don't hate it. However, oh, personally, what I don't like, obviously, is the, the crooked lines. But we'll just leave that on to the side. So maybe I still do have just five designs. I don't know. You know, sometimes when we do this on live, we get what we get, right? Yeah, I don't feel very solid about that one. Not very solid, but that's okay. Moving on. <laughs> Try not to dwell on the, the mishaps, but you know, sometimes they happen. That's the reality of nail art. I had the design and the concept in my head, didn't ex quite execute. Moving on right card holder let's see tiana we need a newer version of a pineapple grabber and another pineapple scraper card holder please hmm we'll write that down what kind of um grabber do you guys think would be a good design Yes, I am missing my pineapple, but it still works. My pineapple is actually parked somewhere on the side. <laughs> um, let's see, sorry, got a brain fart. Okay. I think I want to use the same plate. I'm going to do this design in black and stamp it over the fireside. This has a lot of straight lines to pick up. And because of its straight lines, I'm going to go as flat as I possibly can to scrape <laughs> as firmly as possible so I'm not digging out too much. But look at that pickup. Okay. So I can see a little bit of curvature. I'm trying to see, yeah, I shouldn't probably tempt that. And that happened because I rolled. So 
So let's see if I just do the up and down method, which is what I do recommend when doing straight lines. And if you're wondering why I'm not using the monocle, if you are just starting out, I think the monocle is great. And that is what I would recommend is using this. However, sometimes that can happen and I feel like it's because of the surface of the monocle. It gets too much air underneath before the pickup that sometimes it doesn't pick up very nicely. But the lines come out straight. So unless I want to be here forever, which I don't, and I'm sure you guys don't either. Just a matter of preference. That's why I use my... Double ended. Did I already do four designs already? Wow, five designs. Commit. There you go. Classic pattern, classic colors. I love it. I love how the hash lines kind of make the black look a little gray and the straight lines laid down really nicely even though I used my, what do you call, double-ended stamper, looks perfect. Work like magic, yep. Oh shoot. <laughs> I had a whole nother idea today and I just, I think I messed it up. Ooh, today is an interesting, an interesting one. I thought I was prepared, but that's okay. So this next one, I am gonna go and use the M337 and I'm going to use this section of the sweater knit. And this one is going to be kind of a modern design with a black base, okay? So I'm going to go in and I'm going to make a diagonal kind of pattern going like this with the cable knit. And let's go in with a dark, a um, dark gray and I'm going to use folklore today. And I think with this, there's really no rhyme or reason. You just use whatever cable knit you think would work best for your design. You're just gonna piece together a concept. Okay. Okay, so that is the, I guess the start of my cable knit design. Let's see. Let me use something that is bigger and more braidy, like a twists braidy. More cable knitty. <laughs> You know me, I'm always out here making my own words, making up my own words. Okay. 
following that same kind of diagonal pattern. I'm just gonna go ahead and lay that down. Oh, thank you, Cynthia. I enjoy watching, um, I enjoy making my own patterns too. And um, you'll see, you'll see in the next area that I, or the last like bonus, my pumpkin spice latte. So if you guys really wanna see me do that base, stick around, cause I am gonna save that for last. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Don't think you're gonna leave me just yet. And isolate, isolate, and let's do. That's the cable knit. Now, I feel like I need maybe a straight line. Let's try, let's do this one. That last one got a little smudgy there. Don't worry, I'm going to clean that up anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Mm. Okay. So now I'm going to come in with this really gold plate. This is M338, and this has a whole bunch of different um, snowflakes. And let's see. I think I just had an idea because I saw... I was using, um, thinking of like some small snowflakes, but I think I want to kind of use maybe a bigger one this time in my idea. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Trying to think of a snowflake that can be like the focal point. Hmm. Actually, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna attempt this one right here. And I wanna see if it can fit on the edge of my nail. Okay. It's kind of a thicker one. If it doesn't work, then I just don't use it. Mm, yeah, maybe it was nicer in my head, but that's okay. I will pick out something else. So now I'm just looking for my focal point, like the, the main, the main snowflake. Let's do this one here. Perfect. I'm going to put this in the biggest area there, stamp that on. And then I am going to grab some other smaller snowflakes and kind of dress around that design. So basically you can see that it's going to be like a diagonal design with part sweater, part snowflake. Okay. And there's so many designs on here that I don't even have to use the same snowflake if I don't want to. And again, this is why I love plates like this because 
It's not a one-size-fits-all concept. I think Lisa is asking, is this plate available? Yes, I believe it's, um, everything is on, all the plates that I'm using today are on the website. So they are available. So now I'm gonna fit in the little in-betweens with like the smaller snowflakes. So I'm gonna pick up some smaller ones here. Kind of fit them in wherever I can. Okay. Let's find some other small ones. I love these small details. Okay, let's find some other ones. Let's see where are the small, small, small ones. Hmm. room for maybe like two really tiny ones I think I might have to use that one that looks like maybe my smallest one and it is important if you're reusing the design please clean your plate Sometimes you can get away with not doing it, but I noticed with small designs, it's almost impossible just because there's too much polish sitting in that one tiny design. Okay. Okay. So what do you guys think? Using the cable knit and some snowflakes. I kind of like the, the modern look of this. Yeah, I think this definitely turned out well. Better than my line design. <laughs> okay. I'm kind of frazzled right now because the design I actually had in mind for this wasn't, it wasn't this, it was a cooler design. Do you guys want me to do it with you guys or not? Give me a vote. I'll let you guys vote in the, the comments. Okay, yeah. We're not gonna cry over spilt nail art. We're just gonna chuck that. I'm gonna grab another tip and just redo it. Okay, so with this, we are gonna go back in with Luna. So I have to paint my base and let it dry. So in the midst of this, um, I will get started on my pumpkin spice base because I know you guys are all excited about that. Give me a pumpkin emoji if you guys are kind of excited to see this technique. It's really easy actually, but I loved the technique I had seen. 
online and I was like I think they would love it and I should try and come up with a way to do it with our polishes and I think I did so Jess one is happy to see my pumpkin okay let's get started while I painted that Luna so here I have my tip and oh, and by the way, for any of you who are just joining, we're doing fall nails. And I'm going to be starting off with a pumpkin spice latte base. That's what I'm calling it. So here, I used Heart of Gold, which is a really kind of yellow um, gold onto the nail as the base. That's it. And I'm going to go in with Firefly. Now, Firefly is this gorgeous hollow like micro hollow um sheer it's kind of sheer e this is part of our regular polish line it's not an extremely opaque but i love the brown brown kind of uh hues in this so it kind of adds to that pumpkin spice plus it adds that hollow um pizzazz i guess so i'm going to put two layers of this over and um i'm doing two layers just because honestly it's the sparkle so go ahead and paint that on after you're done we have to wait for that to dry so it should dry really quickly just because it's a thin layer so for now we'll just leave that on the side And let's see. Don't be impatient, T. I'm over here touching the Luna that I just painted. Cute. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with my second coat of Firefly. So two thin layers. Can you guys see the hollow in it? Looks so pretty. Okay. I'm gonna try and help speed up the process by blowing on it. I feel like I should keep like one of those battery powered fans over here just in case. How many of you guys have that at your desk? Do you keep a battery powered fan or a fan by your desk? Something you can like turn on. That's okay, Cynthia. I know you're talking. <laughs> you who you... You're giving me a little pumpkin. Thanks for trying though. I appreciate it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with like a really, this is a thin layer. I'm gonna go in with uh, Studio 54, which is this gorgeous uh, dual chrome. This is part of our uh, regular polish line. And this has a gorgeous like orange, rust, green, gold, just, it has all the flavors, <laughs> all the gorgeous flavors. This was a part of a three-piece collection, and um, I'm just going to top my pumpkin spice with this. I feel like it gives it just like a, an extra pizzazz, and it's really thin anyway, so you don't need much, but I don't know. I just feel like it transforms it a little. You see, it doesn't cover the hollow. But it just turns it into a really pretty base. So you can still see the hollow in the background. And there you go. That is 
my version of a pumpkin spice latte base. Okay, so we're gonna get this uh, dried up before I start stamping on it. Let me know what you guys think. Did you like this technique? And I hope you guys try it, because it's really pretty. Okay, so while I wait for that to dry, because we don't want to stamp on it, everything is just gonna get smushed around and we don't want to do that. I have my other tip. I will come back to that and stamp over it later. So right now I have my Luna that I did here. And now I'm gonna stamp over this. Okay, so I'm going to plate 268, and I'm going to use this design. And I don't know about you guys, but I like to use our plate sometimes as like a stencil, if that makes sense. And I'm going to, if it doesn't, I'm going to show you the concept. So let's see. I'm gonna go in with Smoke Show here, okay? And I'm gonna pick up this design here. Now this design is meant to be extremely fine, um, just some really light line work. And I'm going to stamp that over. So right now we got like a gray on gray action going on here. Okay, so really simple. And now I'm going to go in with Harlequin. I'm going to go back to that, um, this snowflake plate. Okay, so now I'm going to use all of those dots as kind of like a guide. And Let's go ham with the snowflakes here. Okay, so we're gonna start off with this design. And for the center, I'm going to lay this down right in the middle, just like that. And I'm going to continue repeating this pattern all the way down the line. This is a good time where you need your pineapple scraper um, grabber, cotton grabber, because you'll be doing a whole lot of cleaning if you're doing this technique. But I like the look. Okay, so there you go. Using those dots as like a stencil, I'm just going to continue the process using those dots as my guide for stamping. Okay, so now I'm going to go in. with another I'm trying to see I don't know if it's the light okay I think I'm gonna pick this one up right here I'm going in with the next one. 
There you go. So now I've chosen another snowflake and now I'm gonna just continue with that snowflake going down that, that line. Gotta also repeat that on the other end as well. On the opposite side. So I'll show you in just a moment. So again, I love plates that have all of these little details because you can just find really cool creative ways to create something that's uniquely your own. I mean, you could also look at this design and create your own full nail concept by just like picking up this and stamping that onto the nail. However, you know, you can kind of just piece together something from your imagination as well. I love all the different sizes too, you know, like some concepts don't call for extremely huge pieces, you know, they call for like smaller pieces, so. I do enjoy that a lot. Okay. So now we're going to find, let's see, go to another, um, I'm going to go to that little tiny design there. This little snowflake, snowflake. That was me trying to get sneaky <laughs> and see if I could get away with it, but I really don't think so. Small designs are so, so hard to do just because just so much polish that gets kind of caught in the, the etching. You gotta clean. Okay. The blue that I am using is Harlequin. And this was a blue from a winter collection like years ago. Um, it's definitely a favorite of mine. It's just a nice versatile dark teal. Oh, that didn't pick up very nicely.
Alrighty. I know this part, it gets repetitious, like it is a, a repetitive design, but I like the outcome of what it looks like. Okay, and now I need to find my last snowflake. Let's see, Grandma Mimsy said, Tiana, could you use this snowflake collection and go over the one you hated? And just, I mean, do that with the snowflake on the top, doll dance, blue ribbon or something, light blue, icy blue. Over this? Was that the... You could use the snowflake collection and go over the one you hated. <laughs> I guess I guess I could. We're just chucking this off to the side. This had a had a solid concept, okay? Very solid concept, but um it's the straightness in the lines. Working, trying to do nail art through the, the camera, it's just, it's otherworldly, okay? It's, it's not normal to do nail art like this. Oh, I'm glad I caught myself before I snapped that because that would have not been good. That's not what I wanted to do. So I got to find another snowflake, another tiny one. Let's do this over here. Let's see. How does that look? Too smushy. Let's see. Maybe I'll try this one. We want some more. So that's how it's coming so far. So like how the fine lines, again, it's just kind of being used as a guide, but also as like a really faint, not very prevalent design concept. And then you have all of these little snowflakes as your feature, which is cool. I think even if you wanted to, like you could do some kind of special base on the back, maybe add in like some kind of specialty topper or something. And my last design is going to be this one. Yay, we made it to the end. The stamper is a workhorse, man. Okay, and there you go. That is the final concept for this design. Hope you guys like it. Focus, focus, what's going on? Okay, so now I'm putting that on the side. That's what we got so far. And now we're back to our pumpkin spice latte base. Let's go ahead and stamp over that. I wanted to use this knit. So 
So I'm gonna go in with coconut. And I wanted to pick a design that was like spaced out enough so you could still see the base. Beautiful, beautiful pickup. And there you go. I feel like by adding that, um, the Studio 54 just adds like a very, uh, a different, um, I don't know, a sheen to it that is just, just a little pop that is slightly different from just having the Firefly. So it kind of adds like that spice to it. Okay. So let me clean off this area so we can see what we've done today. I think today came full circle, didn't it? Like I was struggle busting for a little, thought I had all my, my ideas and my ducks in a row and everything that turned out like one of my ducks was a pigeon and I clearly didn't have my S together. And, um, you know, but then in the end, everything kind of worked out, right? <laughs> so, you know, sometimes that's just how it is. Sometimes your ducks are not in a row. Sometimes your duck is a, a pigeon. And, but in the end, it works out how it should. Or an ostrich egg, yeah. So, you know, sometimes that's just how it is. Or an emu, a really angry one. <laughs> so that's what we came up with. Would you use, would you guys use any of these for your sweater weather concepts? I'm in love with this red. Maybe that's just my inner tea. You need to use red nails. I never paint my nails red. As a matter of fact, I don't even think I have red. Maybe that's my sign to get a red. Like Karen at Useless Farms. Oh my gosh. Monica, that emu is angry at the world. Karen is angry at the world. She's properly named, definitely. <laughs> I love... I love that um, that TikToker. She she's so she's so funny. <laughs> if you guys are not uh, familiar with what I'm talking about for me and Monica, she is a TikToker that puts out content. She um, runs this farm, and um, I don't know if it's a rescue farm, but she has a few emus, and she has this one. The, her name is Karen, and this emu is angry, like tries to attack her and everything. But I think she just had a baby too. <laughs> but so anyway, sorry. Thank you for listening to my tangent. I hope you guys really enjoyed today's live and seeing my roundabout full circle kind of day. Sometimes it'd be like that. And um, I hope you guys really liked how my pumpkin spice latte base turned out. I hope you guys try it out. Please go ahead and do that and let me know in the comments if you do try it out. I hope I gave you guys some really cool designs, especially a, a little bonus treat here. And um, yeah, I don't really see too many comments. I see you guys... Some of you have things to do, putting your child to sleep. I definitely see that. So thank you so much for joining. And don't worry if you just joined or you got to leave or whatever, this goes right to our account and you can actually watch this in real time and go rewind it too. But since we're wrapping it up here, thank you so much for being here with me, for sticking it out. You guys are always an awesome, awesome community. I will be seeing you guys next week on Tuesday. Um, and... If you missed our Manny by Me unboxing, definitely check that out. 
Um, we, I did that yesterday. It's already on our account. Go check it out. So I'm going to sign off. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a fabulous, fabulous Tuesday. Be kind, everyone. You know, there's a lot of crap going on in the world. Just let's, let's be nice to each other. So thank you for being an awesome community. We'll see you guys later. Check you guys out next Tuesday. Bye.